Once again, MVT is a great tool for visualizing uh, all sorts of things. Uh, two of the things we're going to look at are cylindrical coordinates under applications, cylindrical coordinates, and then we're going to look at applications, spherical coordinates, and we're going to compare these two. Uh, do a little bit of compare and contrast to show you what uh, what MVT can do and how it can help you uh, visualize the differences between these two different systems. So let's set these up. Pretty nice. Okay, so the first thing you can do on the left, uh, by the way, is cylindrical, and on the right is spherical. So left cylindrical, right spherical. Uh, you can type in any coordinate that you like. So I'm going to type in uh, r equals 1, theta equals pi over 2, and z equals, oh, I don't know, 2. And I'm going to plot that point. And notice that in green it shows me r equals 1, in red it shows me theta equals pi over 2, and then z is uh, um, 2. Now I can change that to like pi over 3, say, and it gives me the end coordinate. Not only that, but I can do my standard panning and zooming so you can get a real feel for what these things look like. And I can do a similar thing with the spherical coordinates, 1, uh, pi over 3, and then uh, say pi over 6. And I can plot that point, and it'll show me that. The only downside is there seems to be some sort of an error, uh, which happens if I try to turn my graph, a sphere appears and covers everything. If I click plot point, I get it back. Um, but I don't know why it does that. I guess that's just an error. No big deal. But you get the idea. It's pretty nifty. Um, so we can do more than just plotting points. We can plot functions. And in the spherical coordinates on the left, if I plot, say, um, cosine z plus 5, that's already preloaded, I can click plot. And there it is. And it's a really nice surface. And I can um, explore this surface. Uh, I can trace lines of constant theta. I'll drag this, and you can see that red line being traced around as we go uh, theta. And you can see theta up here going from 0 to, um, or rather, negative pi to positive pi. I can also click grid so that you can actually see a plane of constant theta uh, cutting this, this graph. And of course, I can twist and zoom and do all the usual things with it. And I can do the same thing over here in spherical coordinates. Um, let's do, I don't know, v plus rho. Let's just try and see what that looks like. Oh, I'm sorry. It must be it must be phi plus theta. So I'll plot that, and we get this interesting seashell-looking uh, function. And I can trace lines of constant theta. And you can see what that looks like. You can also see the trace up there. Um, I can also do a plane of constant theta, and it cuts this curve this way. And I can do the same thing with phi. You can see how the traces are a little bit different. And you can do the same thing over here. Instead of phi, it would be z, and you can see how it cuts that shape. Um, again, MVT, really great tool. Uh, I encourage you to use it. I encourage you to uh, visualize all sorts of fun things. And if you send, if you find any really interesting, uh, beautiful functions, uh, post them to the forum. Leave them in the comments. All right. Hope you're having a great day.